A century later, Galileo Galilei not only embraced Copernicus's theory, but actively championed it as physical truth. His improved telescope provided the undeniable observable proof. To deny what my own eyes and instruments reveal merely because it contradicts ancient texts, the book of nature is written in the language of mathematics. The truths of the heavens are unveiled through observation, not decree. The earth does move. Galileo's insistence that the earth moved directly challenged the authority of the church. In 1633, he was summoned to Rome to stand trial before the Inquisition, accused of heresy and forced to renounce his belief that the earth revolved around the sun. Before the tribunal, he was compelled to sign a statement declaring, I, Galileo Galilei, being in my 70th year, kneel before your eminences. I abjure, curse, and detest the error and heresy of the motion of the earth. He signs the recantation, saving his life from the Inquisition sentence. Yet as the story goes, when he rose and turned away, the old scientist murmured softly under his breath, E pur si muove.